so hello everyone welcome back with new video so in this video again we are going to discuss about aws cloud and in this video we are going to launch a windows server on aws and connect it with rdp protocol so let's start this video so we just use that ec2 service in this video we are going to use ec2 service so i am going to launch our instance so now we are going to use windows instance windows 2019 base and again i am going to use t2 t2 micro <laughs> that is free tier eligible and next we have to choose a data center so first i am picking 1b we have three data center in mumbai region next that is storage so there is 30 gb storage so by default they have so i'm going to pick uh, windows server great i'm going to create my own security group this windows server and I'm going to put my IP that for security reason only I'm able to connect that so let's launch so security key I'm going to use get. yeah so they are launching our instance just wait Yeah, they are in state, state in pending state. So they are launching. So if we launch a Windows Server and we want to connect Windows Server, so we use one protocol that is RDP in Windows, that is Remote Desktop Protocol. Or if we want to connect Linux instance, so we use SSH protocol. And you know SSH protocol work on port 2022 and our RDP work on 3389 I think. I guess 3389. When you launch you can see there uh, the port number will be shown that in that place. So now we can wait for a while. Yeah. Now our list is in running state. So just follow these steps we have to connect that now we have to go to rdp client we have a public dns username and get password so i am going to download that remote desktop file or we can use rdp also in windows we have rdp remote desktop connection but and we have to generate a password when we use linux they uh, they use private key but and uh, here we also need private key but here we need password also so the, the private key will decrypt and we will get a password so they are telling that pass please wait at least four minutes okay we can wait for that our instance is in running state okay just wait for four minutes after that we are going to connect a windows server through rdp see we can see here it is dot rdp file now connect that now we are we have a password go to get password and we have to attach our key that is niket that i have used we have to decrypt that password so we get the password to this one now connect they need password paste it and now we land it to the windows server this windows is exactly same like our windows we use
we are configuring the windows server launching it yeah we can see this window style is exactly same like our real windows this is also real this is a come from one of our data center you can see everything each and everything command aws tools for windows file explorer you can see we have 30 gb storage and here they are showing host name instance id each and everything the ip availability which in which data center the architecture memory size that is 1 gb so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it to my share it to your friends